Okay, uh, what is your name and where are you from? Ray Lawson. I reside in West Memphis, Arkansas. And uh, you, uh, so do you have a COVID story? Uh, anybody you know have had COVID or? Yes, my nephew, which is my brother's son, and his family have had it, but they've all recovered by the grace of God. Yes. And uh, do you, uh, have you uh, had any friends that have had it or anything like that? or? I've had a few people in my family that had it, yes, sir. Not just my, my, in my family, friends of mine that have had it. And uh, they've all made it through it. I just thank God that while my mother was alive, she was on uh, hospice. Uh, you know, had several complications. I'm glad the Lord come got her before she had to go through that and have complications possibly. Right. And then, um, so have, what have you, uh, it's been a year of this since it's been declared a pandemic. Uh, have you been social distancing? Has it affected you, like, your Thanksgiving or your Christmas? Or your no, sir, it really hadn't affected me. It's just, I really think this thing, I know it's real. There's not a question about that because I've had it in my family. But I think the press has over-politicized it. it, it they've done made, the, made it political in the government you know, for their own whatever. But my thoughts on the whole situation is this. Number one, first off, I'm a child of God. I believe your hairs on your head and my hairs on my head are numbered, each and every one of them. If it's my day to go, sir, or somebody else or anybody, if it's your day to go, can't no doctor save you. On the flip side of that, I'm a pe I'm pessimistic. I'm not, yeah, I mean, I'm optimistic, not pessimistic. On the flip side of that, if it's not your day to go, sir, there ain't nothing you can catch that's going to take you. You know, and I have a peace and joy God has instilled upon my heart, something I've never experienced before. I'm 61 years old. And uh, now out of respect for the elderly or the young, I will raise this neck garner up here for that. But it's for their protection, not mine, because personally, I don't stress. I don't worry about anything. Because I know that, as this wristband says, God is big enough. He's big enough to take care of any problem. All you got to do is ask him for it, and he will. Do So you uh, think that, uh, so has it affected your happiness at all? Or your psych sir, has it stressed you out at all in this last sir, year? Sir, I or? get stressed out none whatsoever. I just think every day God has made it. And... Uh, I call him Jehovah Jireh. He's my provider, sir. And whatever he has in my store, I believe it's all planned out. I, I, I really believe that. And, uh, and it, can't not steal my joy do you, or the peace of my heart. Do you think that, so do you think the government is overreacted or underreacted? Or? Over, overreacted. And it, it's sad to say, it's a sad day that we're living in today because when I was growing up, the press, they would tell both sides of the story, whatever side of the political spectrum they're on. But it seems like the majority is more liberal or on the left. And uh, whatever their need is or whatever they're trying to project, that's what they do. They're not giving you both sides of the story. You know, so it's, it's sad. It's hard to believe the press because they put out there what they want out there. I believe that. You know, it's, sad, it's a sad day that it's like that. But that's how I feel. And going forward, do you think uh, this is the new normal, or is it go, uh, this masking all going away? Or, sir, I believe it's going away. Because, uh, in matter of fact, we're in uh, Texas right now. They're back to 100 percent. It's your choice if you want to wear the mask or not. You know, businesses are open 100 percent, and I think that's a good thing. Because, like up in South Dakota, I forgot the lady, the lady governor. She never shut them down, and they're doing fine. They've had cases, but not like everywhere else. You know, what, what, and what really makes me feel that way, sir, I know you've heard the story since Mr. Biden is president, and he's my president also. I'm not a Democrat, but he's my president because I live in the United States and I love this country. I'm retired military, and I respect people. I treat people how I want them to treat me. The thing is, 
You look at the border situation, those children that are coming, sir, they are not even testing them for COVID. The families, they're just letting them in and busting them on. If it's a, if it's, if COVID is such a big problem as the news projects it to be, why are they doing that? Why is the government allowing that to happen? They know something we don't know. And they only tell us what they want us to hear or what, what they want us to, to believe. And that's how I feel about it. And uh, I guess uh, finally, uh, overall, uh, what do you think? Uh, you think it's all going away and uh, we'll return to normal or what? Uh, sure I do, sure I do, sir. But the lovely part about the United States, we have choice, we have freedom. It's our choice whether to wear a mask or wear two of them, as we're saying now, you know, or, or whatever. It's a choice. I think the government is trying to take too much control over everything, period. Because I don't know how old you are, sir. You have a family, but I'm sure you do. I believe you're smart enough to know what your family needs and how to take care of your family. You don't need a government that say, oh, well, we, you can't have your business open. We don't want them coming in there. You know, that's not their job. Their job is to protect our co country, number one, and our citizens in it. Look at the border. Need I say anymore? Well, thank you very much. It is. April the 3rd, it's the day before Easter. I guess one last question, how are you going to celebrate Easter? Uh, is it going to be distanced for you, or is it going to affect, COVID affect your COVID celebration not going to affect me, sir, because I do the my thing. I'm on, I'm on my program, I'm not married anymore, wife passed away. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got three children, uh, three chihuahuas, and on this trip to California and back, we got two little puppies with their eyes still closed in the car. That one right there, that white one over there, it's a rental. And, uh, man, but, I just uh, Easter, thank God. Easter is uh, not Easter, changed for you and, at all. It's not going to change for me at all, sir. Mm -hmm. Not at all, because anything I do or anything I have or I'm going to have is not mine. It's his. And I just hope that I'm a good shepherd. And I help people, sir. I have a good heart. Uh, if I, if God put somebody in my path, I believe it wasn't by coincidence. It, he, they was put in my path to help. Because every morning I pray, Lord, if you need somebody me to talk to or to help, just put them in my path. Because what I have is not mine. It's yours, and I will give it freely. I don't care what they do with it. It don't make no difference. I did what my heart told me to do that you put on my heart. And if it's a wrongdoing, that's between them and you, Lord. That's all I can do. And thank you for the peace and joy that you've given me. Very good. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.